what is up boys and girls of youtube how are you guys doing i am going to be knocking out another top five video we haven't done one of these for a while um should pretty much have one up every day this week jungles first obviously because that's what we always do and i want to jump into it i'll give you a very brief build or two um in each role for these videos i don't want to go too in depth um just an overview of what you should be playing what you should be building before we get into that though hit the subscribe button hit it there's 60 percent of you watching this at least at least 60 percent of you not subbed hit the sub, sub button hit the like button drop a comment on what you guys think and we're going to go ahead and work our way from number five down to number one. First on the list is the newest newest assassin ravana uh, ravana is coming at number five mainly because his clear is not amazing his early game clear is really weak but he does still have the ability to pressure with blink and kill any of the non-mobile mages which are really prominent right now gods like freya he does well against gods um re really even gods that have mobility he does well against thoth if you catch thoth dashing you can blink on him you can blink on him make him dash and then alt on him you have so much utility with this kit as we've talked about before the alt giving the mobility the safeness with the two the damage coming out of the one and the three the slow coming out of the one the root coming out of the three the setup for your team if they have abilities that need to be set up Scylla alts thought alts raw alts anything really works with ravana the biggest thing to watch out for is just not messing up the early game because if you die at level one or two it puts you in a bad spot whereas if you just farm and get through to level three four five six seven you can pressure out very very hard and that's what you're going to be looking to do with ravana uh builds are the same pretty much just just your generic i'm not even going to click on everything well whatever yeah warrior tabby of course uh you're going into power you're grabbing yourself a jotun's usually you can go hybrid you can go hybrid but we're going to get into that after we're going to do this damage build you got crusher uh third item third damage item i still like to grab another just a brawlers man just another damage item you are then going ahead and you magize is so key for all the gods right now there's so much cc being built or being picked up um by teams all the teams have gods that have heavy cc and ravana getting locked down is never fun so this is pretty much an ideal build you then have immunity from your magize cloak you have immunity from your beads and you have immunity from your two so you have the ability to avoid damage to get out of cc to pretty much never be locked down which is a scary thing for a robin all right, so that's going to be your damage build, and here is going to be a more hybrid build. Assuming they have high damage magic, uh, high magic damage, so two, three mages on the other team. If they're running a mage jungle and a mage mid, Ao Kuang, Hebo jungle, Guardian jungle, whatever, this is probably my favorite thing to start with. Uh, grabbing an onsile just allows you to dive it cc's them it's really really annoying and you don't realize it how like how annoying you're being just by having that silence plus it's giving you power and cdr it works out great um you are then picking up another defensive item i like to go into a void shield i then like to grab the magi's blessing i then go for my one damage item in the bill which is a titan's bane and then i go ahead and grab a little bit more cdr in a mantle so it ends up being a 20% CDR, pretty tanky, decent amount of health build while still having pen and power. Very, very hybrid with this build. Usually only going to be picked up when you are the one diving solo, when, when you're in the back line by yourself and you need to be tanky. This is the build you're going to be looking at. Um, these two builds are going to be kind of generic amongst all the gods in a way. Um, that's just how it'll be. So there's your your full hybrid like i want to i want to tank damage type build and then here is the one other build i would recommend which is a mix it's it's the more true hybrid um something that i go consistently when they just have a good mix of damage and, it, and it's what you're looking to do um you're grabbing yourself a spirit robe this could be a mantle if you're really far ahead but it's a spirit robe if it's a close game or you are behind just to get it online earlier you can then trade it out later for a mantle if need be so here's the full build uh, that i'd be looking for as in a true hybrid so i'd say first build damage build really good for diving while also having that magize is just the extra little protection the second build definitely more tanky but still extremely hybrid you're, you're getting power and pen and health and defense all in that build and then this build is way more damage focused at the beginning where you go more tanky and hybrid in the middle and then you end up finishing that pen so you can continue doing damage in the late game 
kind of like a rounded out build. These are the three builds you will run on every single jungler, uh, essentially. I will give you a full hard carry build for some of the other gods, meaning you're just, you need a 1v5. So you want to one shot everybody and you're getting tons of 1v1s type of build. So Robin is number five. Number four is going to be Thor. Thor is really good because of the global. Thor has gotten better because they changed the one where the back tap on the hammer. So you throw it out, throw out your one on creeps on pretty much. I think it's, I don't know if it's just jungle creeps. I think it's all creeps. Pretty sure it's all creeps. Throw out the one on creeps. It does damage. And then the backswing, it used to do reduced damage by 50%. So it would do 100 out, 50 back. Now it does 100 out and I think 80 back. So it's 80% back and it's awesome. It makes a big difference in the early game. It was very uh, subtle, I guess, is the change. Like something that people would be like, oh, that, that's garbage. That's nothing. That doesn't mean anything. When it keeps you from having to auto attack all three creeps one more time. So you clear a camp three auto attacks faster in the early game. That is huge. At level one, your three is still the faster clear at level one. But then after that, getting your one is going to make your clear extremely fast and it's going to be awesome. So that's why Thor is way more in the meta, as well as global alts being good, pressure being good. All those builds really working on Thor. He can be an annoying, just I'm going to stand in your face type god, or he can be an annoying, I'm going to do damage god, however you want to play it. Really good at ganking solo laners, really good at ganking duo lanes, really good pressure and poke with the stun hammer combo. So that's what you're looking to do when you pick up and play Thor. Number three on the list is going to be Ratatoski. Uh, a lot more clear early, um, not exactly high pressure clear, meaning your clear is good. It's not great. It's not fucking circuit. Um, it's nothing crazy. It's not Naja, but it's really good and it can compete with those gods, which is awesome for the early clear. The stun lock and the protection shred makes it so those hybrid builds work even better with rat because your two is already shredding protections. You don't need all those pen items you don't have to have them having that makes you do a shit ton of more damage sure but you don't have to have them those hybrid builds do a fuck ton of damage they do a lot i promise you they do a lot uh once again global pressure awesome ability to gank awesome the poke isn't so much there because most of the time you are diving so with this you're gonna be looking at your dive comps you're gonna be looking at um just nuking people down and exposing them when they're out of position with your rat alt has a lot of mobility because of the one and the alt play around it Rat is very, very good right now. He's killing it. Fucking killing it. Number two on the list is Sirket. Sirket, same spot as always. In your lower end rank games, you are going to go that carry build. Your I'm going to be the reason we win this game build. So you're grabbing the Jotun's Wrath. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I go Crusher first when I'm doing the hard carry because the damage you get out of this is far greater than... Uh, at that at that spike that spike when you boots this you one shot squishies you really one shot one shot one shot squishies when you are even or ahead you can actually full hundred to zero people with a combo of your abilities plus the crusher plus the auto attacks are faster it's nice it's good for doing camps it's good for doing objectives it's very strong I then do grab the Jotuns because that CDR is something you want to have all the time I like to go into a Deathbringer. I like to go into a Malice, and I like to go and grab the last pen item so you can round out your build. This would be an extremely squishy, I'm gonna hard carry and one shot people before anyone else can hit me type build. It works, but it's not recommended. I would definitely recommend the hybrid build with the two maces, the two defense items, and then the Titan's Bane. That build works way better on Sir Cat because you are diving and the hybrid build at higher levels of play is superior to everything because you have true damage on the god you have cc on the god you're standing still when you all people so you do get fucked up when you're playing players that aren't idiots so you go and you alt the adc you're gonna have the mage and the jungler or the mage and the support right there fucking you up while you're jumping on his head and then when you come off it's not gonna be a fun time so the squishier builds will not work well at higher ratings i promise you it won't so that's our number two. Number one, not really a surprise. It's Naja. It's it's fucking Naja. It, the clear on Naja is insane. Naja got a nerf uh, last patch. It was a power nerf. So the passive doesn't give you as much power, I believe. Or maybe it was a ring bounce doesn't give you as much power. It doesn't matter. Naja still full clears. Still hits like a fucking truck. Has the ultimate that is one of the most scary and annoying ults in the game. Has CC out of the three. Has range damage out of the one. Has the ability to fight in 2v2s and 3v3s because of the one. Has a heal in the kit. Has attack speed in the crit. 
in the crit <laughs> has attack speed in the kits um Naja is just amazing the early pressure and clear is unmatched so that's why you see Naja at number one then you have the cc the ability to play off of your team the ability to set up your team the ability to one shot somebody the ability to go that hybrid build and just be annoying in the back line you have all these options after the early pressure which is just nobody else has that nobody else circuit is the closest clear in terms of pressure but then doesn't have the actual pressure in the fight unless the other team's out of position whereas naja can pressure in the lane can do whatever the fuck naja wants to do and that is why you're seeing naja number one um there's nothing you can do about this god's early clear unless you troll it up and invade or do something crazy and get away with something that you shouldn't get away with really hard to play against god magi's is a must if you are playing against this god and if you're playing naja and they have a fuck ton of magi's Tell your team to pop that shit. Tell your, um, I don't know, say you have a Geb. Tell them to start going and knock people up and then back out and you'll engage after. Or whatever you got to do to burn beads. Burn Magi's. Burning beads is awesome, but burning Magi's must happen in the late game. As long as you're doing that, there's really nothing you can do to a Naja. It's There's nothing. The god is fucking insane. So please remember that when you're playing this god, I will give you a quick... Well, the build's the Circuit build. If you're going to go... The other builds work. The other builds are the better builds, 100%. The first three I covered. Um, you've got your damage build, which is really good. The four bases and the Magi's Blessing. You've got your hybrid build, which is actually insane. And kind of scary that it works on a god like this. Even though the god has such early pressure. And then you have your um, true hybrid, three mace, two defense item build. All great. Then you can go to the last build I just covered, the Circuit Crep build. I know this is four builds and you guys are going to get confused, blah, blah, blah. Just go back to the video and look through them. Try each one and find out the one that works for you. I personally know when I like going each build. It may be different for most people. It really shouldn't be that much different. But um, the Crep builds going to carry people. The other three builds are going to work all the time. The uh, tankier build is going to be something you want to go when you have competent teammates and you have to back line or front line. So think about that when you are playing your jungle gods. Let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments below. Remember, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. We're pushing 200k. Not, not literally, but like we are doing that. We are going to get 200k in the next six months. It's happening. So I'll see you all, what, tomorrow? No, tonight. I have another video coming out tonight. See you all then.